people welcome back to my youtube channel Elliot Wave principal i'm your host shaheen uh, you must be wondering uh, although we were expecting for a sharper up, up uh, move on the bullish side the price of gold has dropped quite a bit so what is the analysis of that um, apart from the fact that uh, the gold price has drawn uh, dropped a bit more as than expected nothing has changed the trend is still bullish and i have now in front of you a larger uh, a 5F structure that actually started from over here. Earlier, we were only looking for the structure that was in here. So I wanted to show the larger structure so people are aware what we are looking at. So from this bottom, we have clear one, two, and then wave three is subdivided. We have wave four, and I believe that we have already found the target for wave four. And right now, we are, our target on the bullish side remains somewhere around $3,000 an ounce. Uh, given next, uh, I would say two weeks, uh, are important then we are expecting a sharper move on the bullish side and I would say that we have already seen a bottom right over here I would go long at this point but keeping my stop loss over here either which is 2645 or other case if I want to be a little more careful I can put my stop loss at 2600 but I think 2645 is 2640 is reasonable target right over here and, and giving our price target of uh, pro taking profit for pro somewhere around uh, $3,000. So $3,000 uh, is, is a good target for uh, the price of gold to go up in the next couple of weeks. I'm still bullish on gold. Nothing has changed. If you want to be a little more sure, you can definitely draw uh, kind of a support uh, line from over here. And you'll uh, see what I mean. Uh, we can actually actually draw this. Okay. Starting from this bottom, we have a, a support line that's covering and we are, can still see that the trend is way above the trend line and that actually started from over here also we can use this uh, trend line and then we can see that probably there is a chance that we have crossed it a bit but we are still uh, not far away from it so we have seen uh, that the price has come down a bit and re, uh, uh, resurface research it now if you want to be a little more careful you can wait for the prices to jump up but i think uh, we have seen the correction area in this region so given that that it's probably that we have completed wave four uh, we can redraw the trend line allowing us to see where the prices are expected to go i'm still bullish on gold there's a little change on silver i want to indicate because silver has fallen a bit more so we have to look at the labeling a bit differently uh, overall it stays bullish um, but we need to look there is a bit of change i think that's us dollar yeah that's us dollar so there is still a possibility that silver has not created a low right over here let me show you why i was looking uh, at different analysis and then we need to read correct it and we can actually form a lower low somewhere here in this region let me go back on a four hourly time frame so we can actually go a little more lower uh, probably right over here is uh, is good enough okay so this low probably will get taken off let me do low so this low if people are have stop loss just below this one ours was this one over here once again we are stopped out but i think the previous low which is right over here is 29.72 would be interesting prices are probably come around around this low uh, so you can put uh, once wait for the prices to drop flow above uh, around here if price do, prices do not drop i'll make another commentary on silver but I, right now i'm expecting the price of silver to drop a bit and uh, somewhere around thirty dollars and then we can expecting for the prices to go long uh, our target remains thirty eight dollars so there will be quite interesting move uh, i think in a couple of weeks time once prices come down or we can wait for another day and we can and, uh, get an, a more analysis on friday uh, i mean on on the weekend um, because we, I, I think there is a little more on the bearish side on the silver and there will be good move for two two and a half weeks for silver wish you good luck with your trading and have a good one bye bye